the way I had to learn, the way I had to come into this process, uh, it's a long time ago. Uh, we learned through all this experience. What we bring into the groups today is exactly not in the same path. You don't need to experience exactly the same uh, frustrations, the same problems, the same difficulties. We were able to build with the extraterrestrials in this case process of development uh, because the main purpose here is allow you to be in touch with them and bring other people to this kind of experience uh, to be to be very simple uh, what I'm looking for right now here is excited to have the moment to bring the TV channels from Canada uh, different newspapers go to the field and have already assigned uh, I did for these people for three years, almost in many years already here with them. We went to the field, we had a lot of experience over there, they can do it again, <laughs> many times as possible. Yeah, but the problem is this, it's not only to pick already the newspapers, the TV channels, and say, guys, at 9.15 we're going to have an UFO, it's going to blink to you to say hello, and this is it, okay? Are you ready for that? Cameras, everything in place, and this is what's going to happen. We had already this. Extra batteries. Times. Extra batteries, please, yes, many times. So this happened many times. What am I not doing right now? Why we are, which is the reason I'm not doing it right now? Because the problem is not to do it. The problem is the day after. The day after, whom they're going to look for? For me. So what is going to happen? I'm going to become the new guru of Canada. So everybody's going to knock my door and ask me if the extraterrestrials can cure already this lung disease or they can help already to resolve this kind of problem or to try to save somebody's life. This is what I'm going to do. Because this is not the first time I'm going to do that. I did before many other times. So I know exactly which is the day after. And I can tell you. And Veronica is going to become the new Canadian guru. I'm going to have thousands of people coming to my lectures, as I had in Brazil or any other countries. I did a 5,000 people lecture in El Salvador a few years ago. 5,000. You know what that means? 5,000 people put already in the stadium? Yeah, I did that. So I keep able to do that. If I'm doing here in Canada, this is because I did already for the Spanish and Portuguese countries, right? And everybody knows me very well. But here, the situation is going to be a little bit different because everything is new. But what is going to happen? Veronica is going to become the new guru here in Canada. And this is not what the extraterrestrials want. The extraterrestrials, they don't want gurus. They want people. To show the people what is possible. So if I'm going to the field today, I can pick whatever one of the people working with me, and they are going to book the encounter. So if somebody is going to come to this kind of experience, it's going to ask for the people working how you made it happen, how it was possible, in what way you are different to make this possible. And that's exactly what they're going to show. Any human being can be in touch with them. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Put the United Nations in touch with this kind of relationship. But how they're going to be able to hear us is when we're going to make a lot of noise. This is how the situation is going to happen. When I came here to Canada, as every immigrant had to place my papers, right? That's everyone. In my papers, they were this big, right? Because the guy, I was being many, many places. And the Secret Service knows me very well. I had the Secret Service in Brazil, in my groups. I had a special situation a long time ago. I was, I came to Brazil, uh, I want to, uh, um, how do you call it? Right now, uh, the scholarships to study over there, and, uh, and I started with groups the same way I did here. I'm going to do here also too, and uh, I went to the field. But I came in Brazil in a very special moment when the military government took control of the government. So everybody was looking for covenants, thing like that, blah blah blah, the whole thing. A very horrible time in Brazil. So somebody talking to the people, making their minds and things like that can be a little bit dangerous, right? This kind of situation. 
So, one day, I went to the field, got something like 50 people, and uh, we went to um, a special place not too far away from the road, and uh, the police saw all this bunch of people going to the field. This can be a, a communist meeting or something like that, terrorist, who knows, right? So the police came, decided, document, okay. who are you, what are you doing here, blah, blah, the whole thing. And yeah, everybody became a little bit scared, right? Because the times that were a little bit wrong. And one guy in the middle of the room came to the police, took his badge, and shot Secret Service. And said, no, no, don't worry, everything's in order here. I'm already in control, blah, blah, blah. And this is the first time I became aware that the, the Secret Service was already not only in my groups, but had a file this big about myself. And this is the same thing here in Canada. What year was that? Sorry? What year? <laughs> 1979, something like that. We have a very beautiful situation here. You know why? Because all the governments want to know how far we can go. So everybody knows me very well. What I'm doing, what is happening, what everything is already ongoing. And they want to know exactly which the next step will be. Why? because we can put the whole world upside down in one single day. And that's exactly what we're going to do here, for good. To give our world not only hope, but more than that.